everyone, I'm Meredith and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm so excited that you've found me and if you're returning, I'm so grateful you've decided to come back and watch more. I love all things luxury. I love luxury shoes, luxury handbags, luxury lifestyle and vlogging and if they're things that appeal to you, I hope you'll hit that subscribe button down below and join me here. Today I am kicking off my advent calendar unboxings. I love an advent calendar. I am advent calendar mad. I have seven, eight, eight, nine. I have quite a few sitting around me at the moment that I want to unbox for you guys. This time of year, I get so excited about all the advent calendars. It is a reminder that Christmas is coming and I'm a little bit panicked about that because I haven't even started my Christmas shopping, but we're putting that out of my head for now and we're going to focus on the advent calendars. I love advent calendars because it gives me a chance to try new products. It also um, gives me a whole heap of sample sizes of things usually. Sometimes you'll be lucky and get full size things, but oftentimes you'll get sample sizes and they're fantastic for travel. I don't know about other people, but I travel um, in short bursts rather than doing long trips these days. I haven't done a massive holiday since before I had children um, where I traveled for a month with friends. Um, since then, since having children and meeting my partner, it's been like a week generally is how long I can get away, maybe 10 days if we're lucky. Um, but with the kids, oh, Mate, if it's more than a week, I'm going insane because my children are out of routine. Um, and I also do a lot of overnights or two night trips away. So sample sizes are fantastic for that, which is why advent calendars can be great value. So today I am going to do the Mac one, which I'm really excited about. So this is my first one that I'm doing for this series of advent calendar unboxings. I know lots of people on YouTube do them. Um, so if you've seen it before, I apologize. Um, but I'm super excited. So let's have a look at the Mac advent calendar and see what we got. Um, and you're probably all really disappointed because I've got my Chanel bags up around me. So they're like, where's the Chanel unboxing? Sorry guys. <laughs> um, okay, so when you open the box, it looks like this. Ooh, hit myself in the face, it's fine. Oh, 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 okay. So the box is not held up overly well. So let's just shove that back in there. Ooh. And that one's come out. <laughs> so it's like a, it spins. So it's like a lazy Susan. And that's nothing against Susans out there. That's just what it's called, a lazy Susan. Um, but you can see 15 is not having a good time. It's stuck. And I'm just going to take that out so I can close the box. And then it spins. So there we go. Spinning. So it spins like that. So let's have a look. There's got, oh, and it's got the thing on top. So it looks like a really big bauble. All right, let's see if we can find one. Do we think they go in order? Possibly. Oh, goodness. Mac, you made it hard. Three, five, 18. Oh. It's complicated, guys. It's complicated. <laughs> oh, it doesn't spin well. So that would be my first feedback, that it doesn't spin overly well, which makes it really hard to get to what you want to get to. I wonder if it lifts out so I can stop spinning it and just... There we go. All right. So if you want the novelty of doing it one day at a time then by all means you can leave in it its little container but i don't for the sakes of unboxing it all at once it's not going to work so there you go this is what it looks like when it's out of the spinning mechanism and that'll make life a whole heap easier all right so let's open it up because now i found one so the doors just open up like that it's all just paper based all right so that's number one let's have a look so everything's wrapped in tissue paper. Oh, oh, I think I own this. So this is a Power Kiss liquid lip color. And hopefully that's coming up and it's focusing on that and not on me. There we go. So this is in the shade Mullet Over. I really wish they'd write things bigger. I'm getting old. 
I'm gonna have to find my glasses otherwise. Um, and it looks to just be a really um, neutral color. Um, and let's just do that. If I do this, oh, it's a little, it's a little corally for me. There we go. So I don't know how much I'll use it, but we'll give it a go. We'll see what it's like. So that's the first thing we got. I'll just take that off as I go. All right, let's find number two. Where is number two? There it is. All right, so a little box and tissue paper. This is all recyclable, which is great because I'll just whack it in my recycling bin. And we have lip gloss. So it's just clear lip gloss. So this is fantastic. It's a little um, tube, so I can throw it in my handbag. And this is why we do this, because it's really handy to have sample sizes sometimes. And three is a much bigger box. So we have this. And we have prep and prime. Oh, prep and prime for your lips. Cool. I don't have a prep and prime for my lips. So I will definitely try that and see how it goes. Because, yeah, I do have a scrub that I like to use at night. But definitely before you put your lipstick on, I can see the benefits of that. So we'll try that. And if you guys want me to do a review on like things that I've got in advent calendars that I've discovered that I'll probably use going forward, let me know. Cause I love makeup and skincare. Um, I know a lot of people who come here for my handbags and that's cool. Um, but I really love that kind of content. So if you want me to try all these things and then review and go, well, what was worth it? Um, in terms of, um, I got a sample size and now I'm actually going to go buy the full size one. Let me know in the comments down below. All right. So the next one is the Wonderlust 24 hour waterproof liner. So it's a liquid liner for your eyes. Oh, and that is very thin. Is anyone else really bad with liquid liner? terrible with it I'm so bad I just make a mess and this is waterproof in 24 hour set like oh god I can make a mess and leave it there for 24 hours and never get it off um but I'll have a play <laughs> see how I go you guys will know how I go because it might be stuck on there for 24 hours um all right let's move on to number five. Oh, oh this is interesting it's a max stack what are you a stack of mascara so is does stack tell me that there's other things in here I don't know what are you black stack mascara I'm guessing that it's the stack just refers to the packaging doesn't seem to come off so I'm going with that's it Maybe it's a stack because it's going to make my eyelashes super thick. Hmm. We'll give it a go. I do like a mascara sample. I'm currently today wearing a YSL one that I picked up in last year's advent calendars. Um, and I love it. But between last year and this year, um, they've discontinued it. So devastated. So I will try the Max Stack. Um, this is number six. Feels like a lipstick. Yes, it is. This is Chili. Matte lipstick in the color Chili. Oh, that's very coral. So sometimes in advent calendars, because you can't choose your colors, you will get things that do not suit you and that's fine. I tend to um, box them all up and I'll give some stuff to my mother. Um, I'll take it into work and the girls will take what they want at work. Um, I've got a whole heap of um, perfume samples that are still hanging around from last year that I keep meaning to contact Winnie from Winnie B L V because she loves perfumes and say, hey, do you want me to send you a whole heap of samples? So Winnie, if you watch this, let me know. <laughs> um, and we're now moving on to number seven. Oh, this looks interesting. What are you? 
What Clout Power Kiss Soft Matte Eyeshadow. Oh, this is a nice neutral. It's a nice color to put on first and build over. Yeah, that's good. So I will definitely give that a go um, and use it as a base color. So once again, tiny little um, containers are handy when you're traveling to throw in your makeup bag. They take up less room. Number eight. You are Strobe Cream Hydrant Luminex. I'm guessing you're a highlighter. Well, maybe not. Do you give me directions? No, you do not. Okay. Yes, you're a highlighter. Ah, uh, oh, you're pretty. I don't know if that's going to come up on camera, but it's just given me a really beautiful sheen. And according to the front of this, it's like a really soft pink, which you can just see. So if you can see here, there's like a little swatch of pink. And actually that is really beautiful. I have just discovered highlighters and yeah, that's really pretty. All right, I'm gonna definitely use that and I'll give you guys feedback on it because that's, that's really beautiful. Um, so that was eight, nine, ooh, fell out. We have, oh, brow set. So it's a brow setting gel. Now I've just had my eyebrows um, misted, like tattooed for the first time ever. Oh, that was a, like, it was fantastic. She's been, she's done a brilliant job. I love them, but the, the build up to will I or won't I was huge. And I finally bit the dust and went, I'm going to go get it done. And I love them. So um, because they're now colored like that, this is really handy because I can just work with the lines that she's given me. Um, and yeah, I will need to rely less on colored eyebrow gels, um, and can use the clear just to keep everything in place. So really handy. Um, nine. All right, let's move on to 10. Where are you? 10. There we go. This is really good value. I think like, um, I have to look up how much I paid for it. So this is essential oils. So prep and prime. So it's grapefruit and chamomile oil. And I really love a face oil. I use them every day. Um, and this looks to be, so I will, so I'll probably, it says prep and prime. So I'm going to guess you use it before you put your makeup on. Although I'm not sure how I feel about putting my oil on my face before makeup. So I might do a little bit of research on this and see when they think I should wear it. Um, it would be handy if the box actually came with like instructions on what, like, well, certainly, I mean, certainly with eyeshadow and lipstick, I understand that. I know when it goes, but if you're going to include like skincare and stuff, it's really handy if you put directions on about when you should use it, when they, th when they've made the product to be used, that would be really handy. So I'll do some research before I use this and see is it if it's prep and prime, are they thinking night or are they thinking day before makeup, whatever. But I do love a face oil, so I'm more than happy to give it a go. Uh, 11. There we go. Oh, oh, it's a little lipstick. It's a baby. What are you? Your Velvet Teddy. Now, I've been seeing a lot of advertising from MAC and Velvet Teddy has come up a few times and I thought it was a great neutral. So this is Velvet Teddy and it is very much a neutral, but it is a pinky neutral. So happy to have this because I have been heavily influenced by MAC advertising lately and Velvet Teddy keeps showing up and I'm like, maybe I want to buy that. Maybe I want to try. But now I have a baby version. I can try it without buying the big one, which, hello, Advent Calendar awesome. Um, so yes, I will give that one a go and decide if I like it enough to buy a full size one. Um, but at the very least it's handy for trouble. 12. Oh, it's another eyeshadow and this one is in frost. It's another really good neutral and can absolutely be used as a base. So that's fantastic. I do like it when they give you a lot of neutral things that will go with um, most people's skin tones or could be used in some way. So that's another little eyeshadow. 
And then we're going to move on to 13, lucky 13. There it is. And we have, ooh, called Mac Glow Play. And you're in that tickles. <laughs> oh, I'm hoping this is a lipstick because <laughs> it is very pigmented. Yes, and oh, it's not as bad when it goes on. It looks super pigmented here. If you look at my hand, it's actually very glossy, which makes sense because it's called a glow stick. So yeah, that's cool. It's not really my color. It's a bit brown for me, but um, it will definitely be used by my mother. I can tell already that that is definitely a color that she will use. So I will probably pass that along to her. And then 14. So my mother is very much similar coloring to me, but she's a bit warmer toned. So she can get away with um, warmer um, colors than I can. Uh, and then we have a Mick, a Mick, a Mick, a Mac <laughs> lip gloss. Terrible, Meredith. Uh, and it is in Spite. I don't know if I like that as a name of a color, but there you go. Um, and it is a neutral, but it's quite a cool neutral. So I can wear it over the top of other colors, which is handy. And it's little. Does anyone else like little tiny things? I, I have a slight obsession with them. Little things of jam when you sit down and have breakfast somewhere. And... Um, when you go to a hotel and you steal the little versions of things. Uh, 15 is next and that's one of the ones that fell out previously. So let's have a look. Ah, oh, excellent. Um, so this is the um, MAC Fix It spray and I do use this. So I have the big bottles of this. <gasps> Brilliant. And this is a tiny bottle. So I'm stoked because when I go away and I want to take um, a setting um, spray, I take my big one by MAC. This will be handy. And now I've got a tiny little one when I go overnight. Fantastic. Stoked about that because that is something that I actually use um, a lot. So 16 is next. Am I going insane? Where is 16? Is there no 16? Did we just miss 16? There. There. I can count. I swear to God, I can. <laughs> All right, 16. Oh, we've got another lipstick. And this one is in, oh, Russian red. This is going to be red. <gasps> wow, that is red. But it's quite a warm red. So not sure it's really my color, but I will certainly find a home for it. I mean, that's the downside to advent calendars, especially makeup advent calendars. Chances are you're going to get things that just don't suit you. So if you think that that's going to be a waste, then advent calendars probably aren't for you. But if you're happy to try new things and then move on the things that just don't work for you, then it's definitely um, a brilliant investment. So 17 is another eyeshadow. And this is quite a dark brown. And definitely not in my color palette. I don't do a lot of browns or beiges um, unless it's like um, like this one, which is quite um, skin tone and I can use it. So this one's quite dark. So this one I probably won't keep. But if you do love a dark eyeshadow, then it is a great color for that. And it's in the color uh, matty. So that's number 17. Uh, and then let's move on to 18. Oh, big one. Oh, two. So we have the graphite black eyeliner pencil. And that's just a black eyeliner, which you can never go wrong with. And, oh, love me liquid lip color. I have some of these. This is in Effortless. Is it Effortless? Oh, why do I feel like I have this? Oh, oh, wow. That's, that's a good color. I like that. And that's why I think I might own it. <laughs> so you can see there, it's really quite a deep, vibrant red. So that's cool. And it's full size. So that's great. Things I should have thought about before I did this. I should have bought in makeup remover with me. 
anyway <laughs> um moving on to 19 oh 19's empty 19 must have been the um eyeliner because there were two things in 18 so that must have um come out and i've just shoved it in the wrong place so that's 18 I can hear Winnie B L V from here making a joke about me saying I shoved it in the wrong place. I hear you, Winnie. <laughs> um, number 20. We have another teeny tiny little lipstick. And this one is in Mare, M-E-H-R. Oh, that's a good color too. It's another really neutral pinky color. So that's great. So I'll definitely try that one as well. And I love the teeny tinies. They're very cute. Four more to go, guys. 20, 21. We're looking for 21. I feel like I'm playing bingo. 20, where's 21? You learn, you have no ability to see things in this case. Oh, here it is. There we go. 21 another eyeshadow oh pretty this one's called oh so guilty and it's a dazzle shadow oh dazzle shadow and you can see why because it's got shimmer in it oh i love a shimmer so that's cool i'll definitely use that one that's very cool 21 22 there we go 22 Oh, that's nice too. So it's another lip gloss. This one's in, I cannot read that. I am going absolutely blind. <laughs> but it's in this beautiful pink metallic sparkly shade. And love that. Oh, that's pretty. That's a great gloss. So... That's the remnants of the other one. This one here is like, it's a gloss. So I'm not sure if that's going to come up because it's a really pale pearl pink. So that's brilliant. I love that. 23. Oh, this one's heavy. What are you? Oh, what are you? You're interesting. Born to Dream Pro Long Wear Paint Pot. I'm guessing it is like a multi-purpose. Wow. <laughs> oh, that is that is gold, people. Wow. I would use this as just like lining my eyes. I am probably not going to wear it all over. Yeah, but wow, is that pigmented. So brilliant gold. It's a great gift. And it looks like it's full-sized. 23 last one let's hit 24 i have seen advent calendars that have 25 before i always thought that was interesting but this one's 20 pick that up in a minute 24 oh it's a full-size lipstick and it's in this high shine container and it's called cc let's have a look oh you're beautiful Oh, look. So it's another pinky nude, but this one's probably a bit more pink. So that's great. So I think that's everything. <laughs> so I'm pretty impressed with the MAC um, advent calendar, I've got to say. I think there's only maybe two or three things that I'm going to give away. Everything else I will keep and use. So let's just have a quick look at what the price is for it because I can't remember now. Okay, so if you buy the MAC Advent Calendar in Australia through the MAC website, um, and I think it might be sold out at the moment, but it says that it's $360 in Australia. Um, I can see that you can get it through um, other um, avenues and get it slightly cheaper. So through some of the bigger department stores. So maybe look at that as an option. But even if you bought it for $360, I got four eyeshadows, I got three, four, five, I got five full-size um, lipsticks or lip 
glosses um, and even just the little um, sample sizes I got, this is worth way more than $360. And considering the amount of products I will actually use out of this and take away with me when I travel, it's well worth it. I believe that this is a really great advent calendar. It's the first time I've bought a Mac advent calendar. Um, but yeah, I'm really, I'm super impressed with it. So if you're looking at advent calendars, if you love makeup, then the Mac one has been fantastic. Um, and if you want to know more about the products and how I go using them, the ones that I haven't used before, please let me know in the comment section down below. I'm more than happy to share my experiences, um, around things that I love, um, in terms of makeup and skin care, because I love makeup and skincare. Um, if you've loved today's video, please give it a thumbs up um, and subscribe down below. I have several more advent calendars to do, so there's going to be a few coming, um, plus unboxings. Um, so stay tuned. Uh, if you um, love what I do, come follow me over on Instagram. I put up lots in real time over there. I um, put up outfits of the day, bag collections, and sales associates will often um, send me through photos of collections as they're about to drop or um, have dropped. So come follow me over there and I will put my handle up down below for you. I hope wherever you are in the world today, you are having a fabulous day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.